Well, if anyone had to guess who my next entry for the ongoing series with the Bed Bucking videos, and they had to guess that it was none other than Jimmy Southern Fried Fish Fried Popcorn Head looking Clyburn. And it's a whole bunch of other things I could call them, but I would probably be here all day and I would deviate from what I'm here to talk about. Then you would be correct. So this guy right here always has an excuse as to why he cannot help out black people when it comes to reparations, considering he's a black man himself and he is the he is a political figure for the U.S. House of Rep. He's the majority whip for the U.S. House of Representatives, and he represents the South Carolina 6th Congressional District. And he's a Democrat. And this guy will do any and everything for everyone else but black people. And I'm going to play this clip for you that's dated November 1st, 2021. And this is from his official Twitter account. It says, pleased to see the bipartisan Catawba Indian Nation Lands Act passed the House today. This legislation is a significant step toward rectifying historic injustices perpetuated against the Catawba Indian Nation and critical to help them secure economic self-sufficiency. So go ahead and listen to what he has to say. Madam Speaker, I rise today to call upon this August body for a favorable vote on H.R. 1619. That's a very interesting a number uh, for this legislation. This legislation known as the Catawba Indian Nations Lands Act. The Catawba Indian Nations Lands Act clarifies that the Catawba Indian Nation is subject to the well-established rules and regulations of the Indian Gaming Regulatory Act on their modern and ancestral lands in the state of North Carolina. This legislation will clarify the tribe's 1993 Land Claims Settlement Act and reaffirm recent action taken by the Department of Interior to take land into trust for the tribe. Most importantly, this bipartisan legislation is a very significant step towards rectifying historic injustices that have been perpetrated against the Catawba Indian Nation. Like in many other instances of current effects of historical inequities, the Catawba Nation experiences high unemployment and poverty rates, causing many of its citizens to rely upon federal and state governments for basic social service. The enactment of this legislation is critical to helping the Catawba Indian Nation secure economic self-sufficiency as Congress originally intended when it passed the Indian Gaming Regulatory Act of 1988. I respectfully ask my colleagues for a favorable vote on this act, and I yield rest of my time okay so y'all just heard that load of filth right there basically this is one thing i did notice with this is unlike with this group or unlike with us he did not stumble over his words even though he was reading from a piece of paper when it comes to us have you noticed that whenever jimmy Clyburn talks he always throws in a lot of us because that's how he sounds. The guy sounds like a chainsaw, a broken chainsaw and a bad muffler. He'd be like, uh, and uh, uh. y'all have heard it before. And I'm like, oh, my God, can you please stop doing that? And he only I notice does that when he gets to a topic that he really doesn't like to talk about. Reparations for black Americans is one of them. Now, this guy is literally bending over backwards for this group right here and don't worry because i'm gonna show you i'm gonna show y'all something later on in this video that's gonna be like probably blow your minds if you didn't even know already he's willing to bend over backwards for this group for this 
a Catawba Indian nation uh, to get some land, you know, with the gaming, because, you know, when it comes to Native Americans and, you know, and whatnot, they are very heavy in the casino industry, like very heavy. Like they have a footprint, a foothold in that industry. If you go to any casino in the nation, nine times out of ten, some Indian tribe owns it, most likely. And you can tell some of them are even designed like that. Like, for example, I went to um years ago, I went to Connecticut and went to this uh, casino called Mohegan Sun. And you can tell just by the name it was owned by some Native Americans. And even how it was designed, it looked just, it looked like a like a Native American tribe inside the design of it and everything like that. But. He literally bends over backwards for all these other groups. But when it comes to black people, he you can't even get him to do this. You can't even get him to do this. That's why I said you got to be careful about who you vote for. Now, I'm going to pause it right here and I'm going to show you something. So remember, that was what I just showed you November 1st, 2021. Let's fast forward to December 27th, 2021. Where he says, I am pleased that my bill, the Catawba Indian Nation Lands Act, was included in the NDAA President Biden signed into law today. Look who signed it into law. N go figure. Another person who feels like black people shouldn't get reparations, but they are willing to give everything else to everybody else. Right. And by the way, a lot of black people was going in on him within these comment sections. I'm not going to go through and show y'all everything because that's not what we're here for today. He said, this is the first step towards rectifying the wrongs perpetrated against the Catawba Indian nation and addressing the historical inequities they face. That last step, I mean, that last sentence, that should be directed towards black people, but it, it is not. And I am not surprised that it isn't. Like I said, bend over backwards for other people. But when it comes to black people, you want to run around here like a chicken with his head cut off and act like you do not know what is going on. Or act like black people don't need it. I wonder, Jimmy Clyburn, did was there a study conducted before you decided to sign this or push this bill? I just want to know, because whenever it comes to black people, there's always a study that has to be done to determine who gets what or if we get anything at all. I'm, I just want to know. The answer is probably no. But I want to show you all something else, too. Don't worry, we're going to get to the, the, the meat of this story because there's more. But I really wanted to show you all this. Keep in mind, this was posted December 27th. Wait till you see the tweet that he made the day before. Look at this. Look at this. This was posted December 26, 2021, the day before he posted that update about the Catawba Indian Nation Land Act. Wishing a happy Kwanzaa to everyone across the world celebrating. May all communities be enriched and uplifted by the principles of this holiday. Notice he said all communities. This is an all lives matter Negro. This is a Kun Baya negro this is a can't we all just get along negro and considering his age and where he's from it doesn't surprise me no disrespect to people who are his age back and who are from south carolina or live in the state but it just i just have to call it like it is this guy had the nerve to tweet happy kwanzaa a day that or a week, I should say, a holiday that's more so pertaining to black people and then have the nerve the next day to say that I'm so proud and elated that the Catawba Indian Nations Land Act passed, something that does not even benefit black people, but posted this the day before and then focused on all communities. <laughs> that's funny to me. But wait a minute. I have one more thing I got to show y'all that's going to make this whole thing so funny and interesting, but in a bad way. I, I mean, as if you were not mad enough at what I'm showing you right now. Wait till y'all see this. Y'all know who these people are right here. These individuals are the ones over the Catawba Indian Nation Land Reservation. 
These are the people that Jimmy Clyburn, that fish. I'm going to use a terminology that uh, Aunt Esther used in uh, Sanford and Son. This beady eyed barracuda, Jer Jim Clyburn, Jimmy Clyburn. This is who they fought for. This is the representation of the Catawba Indian Nation land reservation that he fought tooth and nail to get a bill passed and possibly into law for their casino reservation. For their casino. Don't they look like the $5 Indians? You know, because usually when I think of Native Americans or Indians, you know, well, Native Americans, we'll leave it at that. I'm thinking someone who's more tan skin, dark haired, brown eyes, you know, people that would probably look more lo cl more closely related to me rather than to who you see in this picture. And I believe this guy right here that's standing in the middle, because, you know, they always put the head honcho in the middle. I believe he is the owner. Or at least someone very important to this land. And look at his appearance. This is who Jimmy Fish Fried Clyburn fought for. But when it comes to fighting for black people and getting their reparations, our reparations, I should say. Crickets. And it didn't take it. Apparently, to me, it doesn't sound like it took long because I keep seeing November 1st all over the place. So you're thinking November 1st to December 1st, that's a month. And then on December 27th, he announced that it was a success. So you're talking roughly almost two months. But black people have been talking about reparations for well over two years and nothing comes of it. See how fast he acted when it came to them? And how slow he is on the uptake when it comes to us. South Carolina, I don't care what y'all have to do, but y'all need to find a way to get Jimmy Clyburn up out of office. A sap. He is not doing y'all any good down there. Y'all see who he's he's committed to, right? And I bet you that it was mainly black people that voted for him. To keep his seat. I, I, hey, all I can be is the messenger. It's up to you to take the message.